but uh, let's first look at first this fifth round. Fifth round. All right, let's have a look at this fist round. And side by side, we'll just ask yourself, I mean, ADR? I mean, you are in the main season right now in Europe, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, correct. Yeah, my, correct. Uh, my, uh... Well, I can hear myself through Oreo bomb. Yeah. <laughs> Oreo's gonna fix that soon. We're All right, yeah, ESA so... Main, so that's for uh, season 18, Europe. 18 Without Europe, I mean, or... after main, there's invite, right? So. Yeah. If you guys come out on top in the invite se in the main season, we're gonna see you playing against some top teams. And those men might be shouting uh, in my game next. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, but well, let's have a look. Early on in the round, Aselian got wrapped down to 50 HP through a grenade, and SMF also took some damage. But the terrorists are looking forward to fake the A bomb site and then make their way all the w all the way towards ramps. And the CTs are just gonna catch it up, but they've got one guy who is on a flank. SMF is gonna fall first to cough. Um, their flank has already been eliminated, I believe. Yeah, Bear coming up huge there in the vent, getting two frags. Schneider picks up one as well, and now it's all left to Freeze, who's got one HP remaining here. Bird's gonna out Schneider. <laughs> Up a few more uh, before dying. Yeah, I kind of like a freeze that calls himself Forest Bab. People are gonna be crazy in chat, like, oh my god, Forest. <laughs> uh, I kind of like that. I kind of like that. But hey, Burke, I didn't. I, I could never guess that that was Burke. Yeah, that's Burke. He always likes uh, using these different names to confuse the shoutcasters, I suppose. And also freeze, of course, with that Forest name. But he's been known to have that name since 1.6 as a uh, casual nickname already. We're gonna see here Twist with the scout outside. Let's see what uh, Union is doing here. Freeze jumping on the red rock, or at least trying to. His teammate does get up. That's uh, SMF up there. Twist gets the first shot onto a Cilion, who's on 20 points of health. Uh, good, hey, to note wake is, up. good to note is that the T side here has bought up pistols. And exactly, course, they will be going for a pistol buy. They didn't even manage to plant the bomb, so. This should be going for a full eco. And the CTs early on lost one of their members. And Poff will be picking up one more kill. That's uh, turning it into a more favorable situation as well. Then they drops down to making it three easy kills for him. Flipside coming out with two rounds ahead. I think important thing to note out here for the viewers that don't really play this map a lot, which is... Not really that common, but Nuke hasn't been as popular as it has been before. It's obviously very CT sided, um, especially within the pro scene. You both both sides should be able to play the CT side pretty solid. We're gonna look at a, a 12 to 3 score, maybe even 13 2. That should be their uh, their aim for the first half. Yeah, that, definitely. I mean, 13 13 2. You mean for flip side right now? But yeah. on the other hand, I mean Uno Ain. Um. I mean, okay, let's let's put it this way. I have actually more experience in 1.6. You probably have more experience than me in, in Counter Strike Global Offensive. In 1.6, this map was completely bangable. I mean, you could you could wall bang through every single angle, which could also make it really favorable for a terrorist sometimes. So in 1.6, if you get like a 10-5 scoreline, that would be pretty decent for both teams. What do you think is a decent scoreline right now for for both teams? From like that would that mutually the teams would mutually agree like okay, we had a good half. Uh, Flipside picked up the pistol, so that's going to count in their favor towards the halftime score as well. So I think they should be going for about 12 rounds at least. Um, 11 is a bit tight, depends on Yunane's CT side. As we see uh, Schneider picking up the last few uh, T's here. Picks up SMF outside and Hunden trying to get that bomb down, I suppose, in top. Let's have a look at him. Here at Everybody's got 10 HP left. <laughs> Schneider is uh, also alive with his 2 HP. But he will just drop down to the winds, and he is making his way slowly to the B-bomb side, and we'll be going for a plan. We'll be getting that, and that should be the $800 bonus. Yeah, good plan from him. It was a uh, 1v4 situation, as you could see, and he still gets the bomb down. Kind of sloppy play from uh, Flipside here, who are also picking up other guns, upgrading to AKs. We saw a few FMSs on their uh, lineup. Bomb diffuse going to come in here. Hey, wait up! Yo, that's it, but I mean, Uno in, they did force up the previous round. They put the bomb down. Do they have enough money? They definitely have enough to buy up right now, and 
I would say if Uno Ayn actually pick up this round and then also pick up the round after it, then Uno Ayn have pretty much done their job early on in those on this half. We're, I mean, we're already seeing on Uno Ayn's side, it's not even a uh, full buy. We only see three AKs, and we see that CZ making the return after the rebuff and just a Galil on Hunden. So they're definitely at a disadvantage here going against the flip side trying to take this first T round. That nade dropped down a Sylvian to 49 HP. That was not really pleasing for him. But the rush is going to kick in on the A side. Berg is going to pick up the first kill. And Schneider is going to be there just in time. Picking up the second one. And a Sylvian that grenade does not finish him off. A very sloppy top push here from uh, Unane. As you can see, no one really got into the site from uh, from the hot area. Only two guys in the Talk about hot Berg picks up a Sylvian. To close the round. It's gonna be four to zero. Uh, money situation on the T side is gonna be all right due to the money bonus they get from losing every round. Um, what's gonna be crucial for them is picking up multiple rounds in a row. So if they win this round, they have to make sure they win the round after that because otherwise they'll be going back to that fourteen hundred round bonus or fifteen hundred. Um, and then it's gonna exactly. be very tough. That. Exactly. That that's what really hurts at the, at some stages. But on the other hand, I mean, we also have to keep in mind. Flipside, on the under, other hand, is enjoying the, the money that they're actually making through all of the rounds that they're winning and they're stacking up the entire winnings. And they're not really losing any weapons in, in the coming rounds. So they're sticking to their weapons that, and they're not losing any. That means they're still standing to a lot of money. But Burke is going to get shot down to 40, 14 HP. And he is looking through the smoke. Is he going to find the, <laughs> find the opening? No, it's going to be Frizz. We'll be punished by Twist afterwards. Yeah, himself picking up the uh, to open up this top side. They've got the top side now, but retake already coming in. Schneider picks up himself. Hunden by the bend area. He's gonna get to try and get through the smoke. Will not succeed. Schneider takes him down as well. Very questionable play there from Berg outside walking through that smoke. You saw him get spammed through it to about 14 points of health. Um, thankfully for him, uh, the rest of his team was able to get some frags. And looking at the scoreboard, it looks like Schneider's getting all those. He's on 9-0. Zen the second with six to two. On the T side, we've got Freeze doing some damage, but the rest of them kind of lacking. Three and one frag, and the Cilion hasn't been able to get a frag so far this half. I, I just realized. Oh, uh, sorry, but I just realized your volume is really low on the stream ADR. Can you see? Can you look forward and fix it somehow? Yeah, I'll just up it on the the stream. Oh yes. Sure All right. But I mean, ooh, <laughs> Cilion almost picked up that kill onto Zetne. Then they, um, Oreo, let's talk about the CSGO lounge odds. I mean, they're definitely not looking the way that Flipside is playing right now. I mean, 38 62 were the odds in favor of uh, Uno Ain. Yeah. And uh, we are I, saying, yeah. I mean, definitely it's, it's dangerous to bet on a best of one because you don't have much to come back if you start making some mistakes and it's a slippery slope on this. On this map, like once the CT wins that pistol, you're guaranteed practically three rounds and then they won the first gun round and then they're already up to six. I mean, it's just going to start to stockpile on for flip side. Exactly, but let's see. I mean, Unain still have to come on the CT side and they are definitely struggling in finding any openings over there. Frizz this time will be using the AWP, trying to find his luck with the AWP this time around. And Asilian trying to make sure that no t no CT is being aggressive with it. But I kind of like this double boot, this double stack over there at the CT event for a second that Schneider and his teammate had set up. That could definitely destroy any anyone that would come in their way. But Twist with the Dragon Lore. Will be watching outside and shouldn't allow anyone to pass through. And the tariffs are just playing it down really slow. Frizz also not going down to secrets. They're still unsure about where to go. Berg will be the guy to watch right now. He will be coming up with two frags, looking for the last one, making it a triple. But there's still one man alive. Berg already finding three kills. Will be going for the quad kill. Frizz will get hit in mid air, but Poff is going to be there to catch up with that one. That was. That was all Burke's round, I would say. Yeah, pretty good round by him. What was uh, very questionable was Schneider's player in the, in the top side over there. He was by the T-Vent, I believe, coming up 
while the rest of his team was anticipating on a CT retake. That's how they gave up the bomb site. And somehow Schneider didn't get that memo, got taken down to his first death this game. Um, we see Yunane on the money bonus. Of course, they're opting to buy every round now till they force one. And let's see what they're doing. They're sitting on spam in this rafter that's, uh, that's been patched out actually. That's a spam that doesn't work. So, kind of bad that he doesn't uh, know that kind of stuff. Gonna do outside take here. The default smoke's coming in from SMF and the Sillion. It's gonna be the other smoker. Yeah, there he goes. Hmm? And the bomb will be on the outside. I mean, I still don't know what the CTs are planning, what the Danish squad is planning right now against the Swedes. But let's be honest. I mean, Unoin are not finding any entries. At the, they're not finding any loopholes right now. Flipside just playing down Nick so wonderfully right now that they're not letting the CTs know, or they're they're not really having any weak point. And if they weak link, and if they have, Unoin didn't discover it yet. Try right, yeah, we'll all... Yep, they will be running through. Pof, as well as his team at Twist, are going to be there. They will catch up three frags. Schneider will come with the fourth. The fifth to fall is going to be SMF, but he finds a headshot onto Burke. Looking for more. We'll find the second as well. There's three more to come. This will be the ace. Clutch our kick finds no way headshots. It's SMF with three headshots. Yet not enough to come up against the flip side. Nope, been the story of the game so far. Um, you can see Flipside really wrecking up the bank here. Pop was on 16k before this round started. He only has to rebuy Nate, so he's going to stick on that 15k. On the other side, we see Galil's coming out, seed set. So they, like I said, they want to force every round now so they get one. But it's going to cost them a lot to actually do that. And the only guy with some sort of money is Asilion, who's on 1k. He'll be able to buy fully next round again. But they really need to start getting these rounds, and they're going to try it by doing a top rush here. Burke completely flashed out as Mcell picks up Zendi. Burke behind a smoke now. Yeah, twist. Nine. Twist got that one kill, and will get smoked off. So that's Hunden actually doing a really nice smoke, allowing the buck flag to come in. But Paul from behind is going to be flanking onto Asilian, will be finding the kill, and also pressurizing the terrace right now, because the CTs are all over them right now. SMF. Next guy to fall, and Twist will be looking for the bomber, will be getting the kill onto MSL. It all comes down to Hunden. And yeah, there's not much he can do. Nope, the in-game are not popped. able to turn the game around. 9-0 now, so oh, inside. Okay, talking about the in-game leader, I mean, the pressure is always on the in-game leader, am I right? I mean, if something goes wrong, the in-game leader's pressure, right? Because he knows that his strats are not working out. Yeah, it's, it's kind of hard to question that because as a team on T, you'll probably have three or four set strats and then you can go off those. But at one point, it's going to come down to your players actually hitting their shots as well. So he can make the best calls in the world, but if they don't connect with that headshot, then the CT's got the opening. Like Schneider here, pick up one frag, going through the vent. Bomb's going down. Picked up one in the bomb? Huge oh, twist. twist. That was huge. Puff <laughs> uses the uses barbecues one of his enemies. Hunden is going to get taken down afterwards. That's 10 to 0. Oh my god, that definitely hurts. Yeah, probably coming to op out here from Freeze. Uh, yeah, it's picked up. That's why they went eco, even try to get the bomb down. Um, the one round they do decide to go eco to kind of get the money going for the rest of the half in case this. Well, this massacre will continue on the T side for them. Uh, yeah, as I was saying, that's... the, uh, the in-game leader's role is obviously important by making the right shots, but I think in this sort of situation on this map, it's more of the mid-round game, and at the moment they don't have a mid-round game because they don't get any entry tracks. Exactly, they've got zero rounds, and I mean, the, the, the hopes that they will be able to pick up a round are also thing. Thinning in right now, but Twist is gonna get taken out. That's gonna be the entry frag. First time on Uyo inside. And they are looking forward to uh, make a push towards secrets right now. Or are they going inside garage? That's exactly what they're doing. The Schneider, sneaky beaky like, is gonna pick up two kills and shatter the hopes for off Uno Ain once again. I think this is just very typical for their T side at the moment, even if they do get the entry frag. There's Schneider there, hiding in warehouse, picks up a huge Emperor headshot as well. Another... 
that may holding the air side just as well is gonna pick up a double kill for himself as well making it 11 to 0 i mean uno ain even if they manage to pick up like three rounds right now i would say they're still looking good but they, anything if they yeah. get three rounds that's going to be a fucking miracle because they haven't done anything yet that will uh that will kind of argue that they will and schneider actually on 90 to 2 let me just point that uh Point that score out for you, 19 to 2 on the He's been carrying this game. Hard carry, right? Hard carry. <laughs> and he's actually. And look, look at the. He's actually yeah. pushing lobby. But right? let's. Are they? I thought they were trying to make a fake over there, but Schneider pushed them and kind of exposed their strategies. And it's going to be Poff as well, who will be pushing, will also get taken out. Asselian gets two frags over there. And makes the way clear towards the ramps. Chris is gonna be there regardless. Only we'll picking up one kill. And Berg is already rotating fast. Twist with a with a second kill it with the op. They're definitely shutting down Uno Ain from every angle. I mean, even though Schneider and Pop decided to go pushing into uh, into radio, they did find the first kill, but they got shut down instantly afterwards. Big miss from Berg there. As a freeze came down lower, and now Zenda picks up freeze from the fence. A 1v1 situation, the first time this game that we're in this situation. And let's see how Twitch is going to play this. He still has the op in hand. We have the city on behind the silo here. He knows Twist is coming from this vent area. While Twist is making his way towards the door, I believe. Yep, just picked up M4 as well. So now I'm not really sure who's in favor here. Door's going to open. He hears the sound, we get the shot. Nope, he won't. The city on the <laughs> that's gonna be the kill. That's gonna be the first round for Uno, eh? I mean, the hopes maybe coming back. But if they lose this, then no money, Sonny. Well, this is exactly what I was talking about during the uh, sixth or seventh round. If they do decide to win, or if they're able to win the round, they have to win multiple in a row. As you can see now, two guys on zero dollars, one on 150, two on 1k. It's not looking great. Oh, definitely not for Udo. But if they manage to pick up this round, I mean, it's going to be the worst case scenario at uh, halftime is going to be 12 to, thir to 13 to 2. And that's still not that bad if they manage to pick up the pistol round. But the question is, are they going to perform better than Flipside Tactics on the CT side? He's going to come down to this round. We see Bird rush outside, gets two frags before he's traded by SMF. Now that he's half control of Secret. Rotate coming in, Freeze picks up another frag on the Schneider, the MVP so far. Now again we're in the even situation, 3v3. Yeah, Uno Line finally finding uh, Flipside's weak spot, and that's the B site. Anywhere that you can get to the B site, they have a chance, and really last round was the first round they had a contention to win the round in this round it's quite possible three on three but they're low on health and smf has been locked in i mean poff is already looking at the window and he's slowly losing hope that someone is there hit watch over there he's gonna get all the attention towards the smoke trying to get the bomb planner out that's gonna be frizz going for the suicide planet in the smoke we'll get that down and turn in their favor now the cts are running against the against the clock half the flame situation here for Yunane picking up the first frag in it a 3v2 Asilion in the window he spotted Twist so he's not gonna reface here trying to get the vent Twist missed the easy shot at the same time Zenda coming out of vents picks up SMF now a 2v2 but both both sides low HP uh, this is this defuse is not happening at any cost there you go he's gonna leave it uh, SMF uh, MSL sorry is gonna pick him another kill that's gonna be the second round for Unane are you seeing more rounds coming in for them? Um, I'm not sure. We still have a good buy round coming in here for uh, Flipside. This is probably their last proper buy round this half. Because if they lose this one, they're going to be able to... Well, they have to force buy for the last. Um, Free still has the op in hand. It's going to be a dangerous round. And hopefully for Yunane, they've picked up some momentum. Can they turn this round to 11-4? And we might be able 11, to see op battle. We see Twist outside, and Twist is going to take the better of Freeze. He's going to go down, get the early opening frag, and that puts Yunane at a big disadvantage in this 14th round. And just as I said, I mean, they definitely need these four rounds on the terrorist side to have a little bit of play 
ground, oh, but Schneider is going to get picked up on the outside. And Parf also dropped down to 34 HP through the smoke as Hunden wanted to spray down a little bit. And he has the bomb. They're making their way towards ramps. And Twist is going to decide to follow back, but he does smell something over there. He is going to come back for it. Molotov should just move him out of the spot for a second. And the seat is already closing in. Hunden could have got the double spray down. MSL gets caught while reloading. And this is going south for Uno Ain. Yeah, big flank from Berg there, pushing through Hut, getting into Lobby, getting two in the back, who are actually in radio, trying to contest with Pop. As Meth picks up his second op drag this round, switch over to the AK-47. He's in a 2v1 situation now. HP favors him, that nade is done better. Now, he needs to pick up this bomb. Berg actually going all the way around outside. That's Meth decides to go kind of like top. the bunny. Yeah, that's it, I kind of like the bunny, but then Pop also standing a little bit too aggressive, uh, too... Open and it's gonna get taken down. Ten seconds on the clock. Oh, this, this looks like a, like another hope for a round. But Berg is gonna come out. I mean that that was kind of a bad move from SMF, I would say. Yeah, it was very unfortunate that timing. Berg, he couldn't really expect him to be there. He was in lobby contesting him for the bomb, and then he walks all the way around back to back fence. Smart play from Berg, kind of risky, but paid out for him. And 12 to 2 on the board now. Forced by on the T side. Of course, CT side still has the money. We have the op on twist. No head armor, but he should be okay. Alright, if you say so, you should be okay. But they will be making a rush. Trying to get onto the A bomb side. And then they do pick up the first rag. First, we're going to be the first one to fall in line. Nay, though. Zendi. Oh! Oh, that thing. <laughs> You just read it, you just knew what's gonna happen. Schneider went out big with that grenade. Oh god. 13 a triple to 2. Kobe. Exactly. Um, my go TV just got stuck. What about yours? I'm still fine, I'm still going. Uh, we're currently waiting for the oh, okay. Uh, yeah, the uh, typical go TV bug by ESCA. Your game crashes. Alright, I'll try to come back in, into the game, but I need that nade. <laughs> Yeah, you destroyed all coming. hopes. I mean, they came through the squeaky door, which is kind of a close off area. You don't really have much to run to. You can only go forward. And they were all around 20 points of health, three of them. Schneider getting a HP grenade out. That was just pretty much GG for that round. Schneider was like, yeah, Schneider got a couple of bullets shot at him, and they was like, okay, take take this dude. <laughs> so 13 to the ball. Two side. Like I said, that's, that's a very good side. I kind of expected when they pick up the pistol, or, well, desired when they pick up the pistol. Now, it's going to be the most important round in the game for Yunane, it's going to be the CT pistol. Which we're going to see now. Are you back on the GoTV, Mo? Um, I'm almost back, almost. Um, uh, map is loading. And, yep, I'm back. Are you still in the GoTV, oh, yeah. or just got... Yep, perfect. And, uh, like you said, most important round, I think... If Flipside takes this, it's, I'd say, a GG. There's no way Yunane can come back from a 14-2 deficit on an eco. So, really important round, but early on, SMF's going to fall. Yeah, and with the SMF falling, the hopes are also going to fall a little bit. But, I mean, we've still got a couple of players alive. We've got MSL standing really close to the CZ. Could deal a lot of damage and is also looking forward to push in. And he will be giving away his position any second from now. You get get flashed out, and that's gonna be him going down to the ground as well. Schneider is looking for a kill. We'll find it with ease. Hunden and Silvian are the only two men alive to save the hopes right now. Hunden with one looks for the second. Is not gonna connect the shots and also loses team with Asilian. As he tries to continue to get some frags. Is gonna get one more frag. Is looking for more. Three HP, and that's gonna be the end of Hunden. Wow. 14 to 2. The only thing I, I wouldn't say, say uh, no wow. comments. No comments, yeah. I think the uh, the biggest I mean, that... issue in that pistol round was SMS pushing uh, through a smoke there in radio. And then when he died, it's a 4v5 situation, so you should be able to rotate quick, right? You should be in position where you can help the other areas. But what they did is put, I'm not sure who it was, but some guy just in front of Hut with a CZ, and it's just a massive, I don't know, gamble. Exactly. I mean, but he could have done a lot of damage if he didn't get if he didn't get flashed out. And 
I think that was the only problem right there. I mean, he didn't expect that flash from coming in. He did look away. And... Unlucky, I would say. Unlucky. And now they're left with almost nothing but just praying. Hoff is going to spot out Asylian early on. Comes all down at 100 once again. He has the P2000. I don't see this happening. Fewer chances. What's interesting to see is that uh, Yunane decides to go full eco this round. Uh, as you can see, they, you know, they haven't bought any pistols or any armor, but they're gonna go for a draw here. They expect to win 13. Well, they think they'll be able to win 13 rounds in a row on the uh, semi force buy here. Be sitting on 4k, 3k. Yep, there we go. Famas coming out. Deagle on the SMF. Sky on freeze. Oh. Well, but I mean, anything is possible. It's not that Uno Ain can't do it. I mean, Flipside did get 13 rounds in a row. Okay, 11 rounds in a row, let's put it this way. But, I mean, Uno Ain is one of the teams that are consistent of doing the job. But the question is, are they in shape? Because we saw them losing the Aces Raw Quinter Winter Qualifiers to Bulgaria, one of the top tier... The top tier... No. Tier 3 team, sorry. So I cannot think that Uno Ain is uh, letting lose the practice on their side. It's definitely ambitious, I'll give you that. It's, uh, 13 rounds in a row, and they're gonna have to take it round for round. That's the only way to come back in this game. Don't look at the score scoreboard, just focus on this round, make sure you communicate well, get, ro get your rotations in right, and frag. Hit your shot as Honda does outside, Burke taking out. Top rush here coming in. That's the first kill. <laughs> I was, and there you go. I mean, Twist got kind of slowed down by the by the smoke grenade that his teammate just threw at him. But MSL is still alive, and that keeps the hopes also alive, as it will be all coming down to Schneider. Triple kill for MSL. I mean, things Good might round. be possible. Yeah, I mean, Unain are trying their best, and I mean, where there's a will, there's always a way. Am I right? Let's hope so for them. Uh, 13, well, 15 <laughs> to 3 now. Money situation doesn't really matter for them anymore. They have to buy every round. On the T side, it's going to be interesting to see how they play. Actually, a uh, smoke here. Oh no, it's a decoy. Doing the snacks decoy. From Burke, they're going to go outside here. And the twist contesting with the op. Get boosted up, and we'll find the frag. That's Frizz down, and they will be falling back from the outside. Even though the bomb has been dropped over there. Still kind of haven't committed to anything right now, but there you go. They will be taking control of the outer bombs, uh, out of off yard on the outside, and are looking forward to get some openings to the A or B side. And Una Ain already one man down. They are living on the edge at this moment. Yeah, one round, and they're out of the game. Teammates have to rotate to the other side, the other side so if they decide to give up lobby, and they'll probably go through either secret, make their way to ladder, and secret it is, the bomb goes down first, the silly on the one guy there in the back fence. Yeah, SMF is also going to spot out his enemies, he will peek out, but will not find a frag. Asylian though is still keeping hold of Wentz, is he looking for more, that's the question, yes he is, as MSL is going to peek around the corner, is going to find a kill, Hunden. And Asylian still alive. Hopes are still alive, and the terrorists are slowly running out of time. 25 seconds on the clock, and they have to make a move. I think they're going to try and get the kill invent here, and then go upstairs to A. Oh, Asylian! Perfect positioning! Yep, here comes perfect the Perfect positioning, does find a frag, is going to look away at the right time, and it comes all down to Hunden. I mean, Hunden or nothing. Both have the same amount of equipment right now. Both of them just carrying a flashbang. Spectrum? I mean, Burke is not in the best position at this very moment. Hunden can just come up the went, but he's going to select the other went. And is also going to make noise. He should be knowing where Burke is hiding. He is waiting for it. He is waiting for it patiently. Burke is not even going for it. For it. And there we go. Oh my lord. That headshot turned it into GG. That was the round for for my XMG to lose. I mean, so close. Burke is ice this 